Today I got my back and my crack parked in a brand new Downex gaming chair that we're going to be assembling and reviewing right here on this channel because gaming chairs, well, they're awesome. They add frames per second to your rig and inches to your peen. With faux carbon fiber and red leather stitching so fine that Enzo Ferrari would pop a chub. Full reclining and lumbar pillows to help you pass out between matches because Warzone is so boring. Price is so low and savings so high you can talk even your frugal wife into letting you buy one of these chairs. The chair was sent out for an honest review. That's exactly what you're going to get. So if there's any cons or areas of improvement or it feels like I'm sitting on a colostomy bag you guys are going to hear all about it let's get it the chair review not the colostomy bags as much as i like this thing right now they're a lot more comfortable when they're not box shaped so let's do that now. You guys are more than welcome to kick it with me while I assemble this bad boy and watch American Reunion. I know my key demographic is my age, old and gray, but for you youngsters out there, check out the American Pie series. Not the new series like Bandcamp and Book of Love, but the original trilogy. Mm, absolute bangers. That is a lot better than what you usually get with these gaming chairs. Let me tell you, sister. Full pictures, a little bit of color in there. Very descriptive, good font. English is the primary language. Talking kind of loud so you don't pick up the sound of the movie, which will be a DMCA strike. Nice, this is great. Oh my God, Chris Oh my God. Oh, AK-47 from Gilbert Heaven? Fuck. All right, so cosmetically, I think this is a very, very good looking chair. You have that faux or fake carbon fiber look with some red stitching in here, which I think looks really good. I also do like these padded armrests as a lot of chairs in the mid to high end are still rocking uh, hard rubber, so that's kind of wonky. This does also have a footrest, which is very nice because again, a lot of chairs don't have that. Awesome, it also reclines fully, which is sweet. Demonstrate that right now, so you guys know I'm not blowing hot air up your tuchuses. Now I have put on some weight here recently, a uh, uh, COVID-19, I guess you could say. Literally was about 19, 20 pounds. So we'll see if this bad boy is stable and planted enough to not have me tip back and crack my head on camera. Okay, she was a little shaky at first. I was a little bit nervous, but it would have made for good content. This is incredibly comfortable. The padding in not only the back, but also the crack is quite good. I have tested gaming chairs in the past that have either good padding in the crack or the back, but when you have it in the back and the crack, that is that is uh, a treat. Get that mic a little bit closer to my suck hole. There we go. So right now this is without the lumbar or neck pillow, which hardly anybody would actually sit in this chair like that, but it feels really good. Now, I have a relatively average frame, I guess you would say, uh, for a North American male, 5'11", about, um, usually about 175 pounds right now, around tipping the scales around 190 or so. Rather broad shoulders from the lacrosse days and whatnot, but um, overall, this hugs you in very nice. If you've ever sat inside of a sports car uh, that has bucket seats to hold you in when you're in the corners, uh, that's exactly what these gaming chairs are like. In case you get real hyped up when you're gaming and start whipping around, you don't hurt yourself. This isn't a big and tall chair, so it will kind of, um, it does have rather aggressive bolstering, I guess you could say, but it is comfortable. And the padding, like I said, is good. And the armrests feel really good. And when you recline, they actually tilt, they actually tilt with the chair, which is cool because sometimes if they're just mounted to the base and not the back as well, when you lean back, your arms are like still here, but you're leaning back. It's a funky design. So getting these pillows on is stupid simple. I have two brain cells and I'm able to do it. So there's two different ways you can put on a neck pillow onto a gaming chair and you can't just squeeze them over the top like that, and that's kind of going to support the back of the crown of your skull. Uh, or if you want it a little bit lower in your neck region, which I generally prefer, so my head is on the chair, but my neck is getting supported as well, you can go ahead and unbuckle the clasp here, just like you're undoing a bra. Should be able to do it with one hand, boys. Just reach around and... And then you, you put it through these two holes right here, which, which in a sports car, which these seats are designed after, this would be for the racing harnesses, the four-point racing harnesses or five point, maybe you got some Sparkos or some Recaros. My car guys are nodding along right now. Like, ah, this guy knows what he's talking about. Give her the old one, two buckle my shoe. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Put this one up here, actually. Give her a little butter. Now this bad boy here, as you can see, it's got a couple of straps. What you're gonna do is you're gonna unbuckle both of them. And you might be wondering, Kevin, what is that USB cable? Does it have built-in power tools or something? Um, it's not a jigsaw or a drill or anything like that. You still need to go to Home Depot for that. But um, what it does is a massage function. Now, massage function in chairs is usually a Total gimmick, to be 110% honest. I have two other gaming chairs that have it, and I turned it on uh, maybe on Easter Sunday just to loosen up the spine, but generally you're not going to use it. Um, yeah, let's get this on here. So what you do is you just put the buckle through the hole, right there through the rump or the tuchus of the chair. There we go. Yep. And then you're going to buckle it like that. Gorgeous, sweetheart. Gorgeous. 
Also, that cable that I showed you earlier does disconnect. If you aren't gonna be using that functionality, you can uh, go ahead and scrap that. So how you adjust the lumbar pillow is you just lift her up and down to get it centered in the small of your back. See, this little cord that's dangling right here, I would uh, unzip the back there and tuck that it and tuck that inside the pillow, which I'm gonna do right now, because I don't want this wire just kind of loosely hanging out. Not only does it look silly, but if you bump into it with your back or your elbow, it's not gonna feel too great. Get in the hole. Sometimes you gotta use your big boy voice with it. There we go. Now, I will say this pillow is actually, seems like it's a little bit too wide for how aggressively bolstered it is, meaning it's too wide for how this chair, how narrow the chair is. So maybe it'll break in a little bit over time. Oh, baby, over time. Oh, you're good to me. That, that feels, oh, this is a comfy ass chair. I'm not just saying that because they sent it out for free. I mean, this thing is, it's legit comfortable. I'd tell you if it feels like I'm sitting on a bed of broken glass or rusty nails, but it doesn't, it feels good. Mm, little caveat to that. It does cut in pretty aggressively in the shoulders, but I've said this before in previous chair reviews, when you are, when you have your hands forward on a keyboard and mouse or holding a controller or resting on your desk, you're fine. But when you sit up, when you're just watching something at your computer station or you're, you've already, you know, died and you're watching your friends play or spectating or something, when you're up like this in an, in an erecta or a homo erectus position, that's when your shoulders are gonna bump into this chair here. Unless you got some like little like, you know, unless you're built like Schmeagle and you don't really, you got a slender for a slender man's frame. But for you, you big stallions out there, your shoulders are gonna bump into there. If you got a couple of deltoids looking like bowling balls, you're definitely gonna be bumping into this bad boy. But like I said, 90% of the time you're sitting in one of these gaming chairs, you're probably gaming or video editing. You're doing something where your hands are forward, not up back like that. Back to the cosmetics, I really do like how sleek and subtle the logos on here. All these gaming chair companies plaster their logos or emblems all over the lumbar and uh, neck support pillows. This one is black stitching. It just blends in, it's clean, it's understated, it's classy, which I like. I don't like a whole lot of branding and whatnot. What you can do is you can go on to Amazon. I will have a couple linked in the description below in addition to, in addition to the chair here. Um, they have generic nameless, brandless pillows that have no logos or whatever. And um, that way you can kind of clean up your setup a little bit. Or what you could do is get yourself a custom patch made with your logo for you streamers out there and get that plastered right there on the head of your gaming chair. And that way you have a custom chair, basically. It's got your logo on it. So a little, little picante, small touches, you know, to make your setup muy caliente, Rosetta Stone. So this bad boy does have a rocking feature, which I have engaged right now. But if you want to cut that out, you just, still rocks a little bit, but that's off, that's on. Sweet. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll see you guys back in the gamer heaven to wrap this thing up. Alrighty, Stallions, where can you buy these chairs? Well, you have two options. You have Amazon and then you have their website. So this is their Amazon landing page over here. And as you can see, there's a pretty fair selection and the prices are virtually identical to what they are over on their website. However, if you do go to their website, there is a slightly larger selection and you do have access to their coupon codes, which are going on right now. And some of these are pretty, pretty thick. Three C's, thirty dollars off over one fifty, seventy dollars off over three hundred, and these models here, these are very premium quality materials, as you can tell. This one's like a nice. I don't know how many cows died, went for a ride, and then gave their hide for these chairs, but these look very nice. That red, that burgundy one is pretty sick too, and oh, the buttercream one as well. I'm hungry now. So I personally do like their color patterns because they're really subtle. They're not bright pink. They're not, uh, you know, they're not lime green. They're kind of like a nice buttercream. Uh, nice subtle grays and golds and like just like really classy colors in my opinion. Oh girl, she come with the chair? Good lord. All right, this guy's got surgical gloves while he games. I like it. A lot of intensity. Pomeranians don't make good gamers. They don't have opposable thumbs. They can't grip a controller. Everyone knows that. She did not buy that chair with her own money. I guarantee you that. And then over here on Amazon as well. And I will have the chair that I tested in this video linked in the description below, as well as this landing page and their website. So you have multiple options as to where to pick up one of these bad boys. And like I mentioned, there are coupon codes available on their website currently. They couldn't do any additional promotions for the stallions here in the stable at Gamer Heaven uh, on top of what they're already running right now due to Black Friday. But you know, you got these ones. Overall, this chair is freakishly comfortable. 
Um, I also do like the styling, like I mentioned, because they're really subtle. And the fact that this has all the features that I personally look for, padded armrests, a uh, leg rest, and an actual good quality lumbar and neck pillow. All gaming chairs, even $80 generic Amazon specials come with a lumbar and neck pillow, but half the time they feel like you got a damn sandbag strapped to your neck, or you've got like a little tiny boxer just socking you in the kidneys, like they're not comfortable. These ones actually are, which is good. And, and for the price, I mean, I think they're good chairs, period. But when you throw in, you know, the for the price caveat, definitely a good value. That is going to do it, Stallions. If you enjoyed this honest review, liking it will help it to get seen by more gamers. This information will reach and assist them as well, which in turn helps me grow this channel. And I do greatly appreciate that. Subscribe for more content like this. I cover news in the gaming community and industry, as well as tutorials helping you get set up streaming and YouTubing and honest gaming peripheral reviews such as keyboards, mice, headsets, controllers, chairs, etc. And I'll see you tomorrow because I upload daily, like most of the time. Peace.